I feel like for these kids, it's like most of the world are, is playing chopsticks, and these kids are born playing 88 keys. You're just taking in so much more all of the time through your sensorium, and then how do you deal with that as an individual? And you can see where a lot of things can go wrong in that system. My name is Ryan Na, I'm currently 12 years old, but I'm essentially studying grade 11 right now. You're skipping years to go ahead because it's either it's repetition anyway, or you just feel you need to be challenged more. Just about anything could be considered science. To me, it feels kind of like a, a central point of everything. I'd like to become a grandmaster. Grandmaster is the highest chess title. Um, aside from world champion, there is about 700, 800 grandmasters on earth. I'd like to win the youth chess championship, which is the world championship for kids my age. I just find the game interesting and in complex, how things can, how the pieces work together in harmony to create different sets of advantages. I love gymnastics because it's an outlet for my perfectionistic kind of qualities. The gifted experience for me is quite chaotic. It's very intense, it's very um, like cute, but it's also beautiful and wonderful and I wouldn't trade it for anything. Kip is good at sports and he's good at math and um, and he, he's, um, he's very good at writing poems. I like the mosquitoes flying thick and wild. The spaces between them are the spaces in the thickest forest before the trees were cut down to put things in their places. The deer eat the grass so short that now they can see me. One deer steps on my chest quite by accident and continues there. The pressure on my chest, like a hundred birds alighting, bearing all their weight. Picking up on plays in my sport, it's kind of like, as a child, remembering shapes and colors and numbers, because with our scheme, it's a lot of patterns. So it's kind of crazy how you can see lines and patterns on a piece of paper while I'm in the huddle, and they call a play. That picture that hits my head is what I'm going to run. So I pretty much was that, that extra credit guy, me and a couple people. So I was always figuring out how can I get more points. But it never was to the point of like, you know, mom knew of different places or safe instance studies or something like, hey, where can I take my son to be diagnosed for this or that? Because, you know, it was the lack of knowledge and nobody really knew about it. But teachers would always say, you know what, well, he's kind of bright, he's kind of intelligent. So with this gifted program, we'll have him in here for X amount of weeks. When I go to school, that's a meal. I'm guaranteed breakfast, I'm guaranteed lunch. I'm finna go learn, other than I'm going to school just because I like it. Hey, it was a way for me to survive. My name is Kevin. I live in White Rock, and I am 15. I wish to save this planet with fungi. I focused my attention on so many different things, but I believe the one I'm going to focus on is probably mycology, the study of mushrooms. There's so much of a synergy going on within nature, and it's quite incredible. My name is Lara, and I am nine years old. My dad is a software engineer, um, and she and he, you know, works on the computer. And my mom is a pathologist. The one word that I would use to describe Lara is intense. Know this, I am a Girl Scout. I am also a fan of nature. I love geese. They're attack geese and they're sometimes funny. When she feels something, when she wants to go in a direction, she is very passionate about that direction. The fact um, 
is I am a really big fan of animals. Sometimes that is good, sometimes that is bad. Uh, if she can focus, learn how to focus that intensity later on, that'll be a benefit to her. Um, but as a parent, that's very challenging. You realize that you're not the same very quickly. And you also realize that the teacher isn't quite outfitted for people of your, of your type. How do we engage kids? Because an engaged child will be successful. Look at how successful kids are at Langley Fine Arts, and they are, they're absolutely marvelous. And I said, you know, but there's no secret there. You, what you said to those kids is you have a passion for the fine arts, we're gonna let you pursue it, and oh my goodness, what a shock, you're engaged. Uh, why shouldn't that exist in every school? That's my issue. They may have trouble relating to other kids their age, but that doesn't mean that they can't. It just means they need it guidance to help them navigate. I know I spent quite a few years in kind of almost a rejection of my emotions just because you feel them so strongly. Like you can't even convey how strongly they are. But if you could physically represent them, they'd move mountains. There's a princess in a tower and that's you but you have to display the knight outside the tower. You gotta be the fighter. We expect a genius to be that reclusive, isolated, non-integrated, maybe cognicentric or up in his head kind of an individual. And I thought that we could be so much more. So what was it to become as a profoundly gifted person? The becoming is whether or not you can activate all the parts of you and keep developing and have it operating in some kind of harmony.